missile, was the larger, unmanned component of a composite aircraft configuration developed in Germany during the later stages of World War II. The composite comprised a small piloted control aircraft mounted above a large explosives carrying drone, the Mistel, and as a whole was referred to as the Huckpack, also known as the Beethoven Gera Currency T and Barty Unson. The most successful of these used a modified Junkers Ju 88 bomber as the Mistel, with the entire nose located crew compartment replaced by a specially designed nose filled with a large load of explosives. The upper component was a fighter aircraft joined to the Mistel by struts. The combination would be flown to its target by a pilot in the fighter. Then the unmanned bomber was released to hit its target and explode, leaving the fighter free to return to base. The first such composite aircraft flew in July 1943 and was promising enough to begin a program by Luftwaffe Test Unit KG-200, codenamed Beethoven, eventually entering operational service. Other Mistel composites included the TAR 154-FW190, R234-V103, DU-217 KDFS-288 and C-204-Lipish D1. Projects included the DU-287-ME-262 and a 234C Arado E-377. Design and Development the first such experiments in Nazi Germany concerning composite aircraft of any type were performed with a DFS-230 troop glider as the lower component and using established, engine-powered Luftwaffe aircraft, such as the Focke-Wulf FW-56 or the Messerschmitt Bf-109E, as the upper component in an attempt to provide the troop glider with a longer range than if it was simply towed in the conventional manner. Later, the technique became more refined and the bomber component was fitted with a specialized 1,800 kg warhead. The final stage of Mistel development was of specialized purpose-built jet-powered bomber components, including ones developed from the Messerschmitt Me 262 the Junkers Ju-287 and the entirely new Aradoa 234. None of these ambitious schemes had left the drawing board before the end of the war. Equals warhead equals. The definitive missile warhead was a shaped charge of nearly two tons in weight fitted with a copper or aluminium liner with the weight of a blockbuster bomb. The use of a shaped charge was expected to allow penetration of up to seven meters of reinforced concrete. Some 250 missiles of various combinations were built during the war, but they met with limited success. They were first flown in combat against the Allied invasion fleet during the Battle of Normandy targeting the British held harbour at Corsiles sur Mer. While Mistel pilots claimed its, none of these match Allied records. They may have been made against the hulk of the old French battleship Corbett, which had been included as a component of the Mulberry Harbour at Aramanches and specially dressed up as a decoy by the Allies. Serious blast and shrapnel damage from a near miss was suffered by HMS Nif, a river-class frigate being used as a floating headquarters, on June 24. Nine men were killed and 26 wounded, and Nith was towed back to England for repairs. A second opportunity to use the Mistels, in Scarpa Flow in 1944, was abandoned after the sinking of the German battleship Tirpitz led to the departure of all of the Royal Navy's major surface units from the target. As part of Operation Iron Hummer in late 1943 and early 1944, Mistels were selected to carry out key raids against Soviet weapons manufacturing facilities a Euro specifically, electricity generating power stations around Moscow and Gorky. These plants were known to be poorly defended by the Soviets and irreplaceable. However, before the plan could be implemented, the Red Army had entered Germany, and it was decided to use the Mistels against their bridgehead at Car 1 Quarter String instead. On April 12, 1945, Mistels attacked the bridges being built there, but the damage caused was negligible and delayed the Soviet forces for only a day or two. Subsequent Mistel attacks on other bridges being thrown across the Oder were similarly ineffective. Survivors A Focke-Wulf FW-190, preserved in the Imperial War Museum in London, was the fighter part of a Mistel system that was captured by British forces in 1945. The aircraft retains the Kargelvischerl Bung mit Sprengbolzen, the fittings underneath that attached it to its Junkers Ju-88 partner. Variants, Mistel prototype, 
Ju 88A4 and BF 109F4, Mr. 1, Ju 88A4 and BF 109F4, Mr. S1, trainer version of Mr. 1, Mr. 2, Ju 88G1 and FW 190A8 or F8, Mr. S2, trainer version of Mr. 2, Mr. 3A, Ju 88A4 and FW 190A8, Mr. S3A, trainer version of Mr. 3A, Mr. 3B, Ju 88H4 and FW 190A8, Mr. 3C, Ju 88G10 and FW 190F8, Mr. Far 1 quarter rungs machine, Ju 88A4 per hour 4 and FW 190A8, Mr. 4, Ju 287 and Mi 262, Mr. 5, Arado E377A and He 162. Mistal combinations. Equals an operative use equals, Ju 88A4 slash BF 109F4, Ju 88A4 slash FW 190A8. Equals projected for use equals, Ju 88G1 slash FW 190A6. Ju 88A6 slash FW 190A6, Ju 88G1 slash FW 190F8, Ju 88H4 slash FW 190A8, Ju 88H4 slash FW 190F8. Equals only in paper plans or proposed equals, Ju 88G7 slash TAR 152H, TAR 154 slash FW 190, R 234 slash V 103, Du 217 KDFS 228, C Bell C 204 slash Lipish Dam 1, Ju 287 slash Me 262. Operators, Nazi Germany, Luftwaffe. See also, Operation Aphrodite. References, Citations. Bibliography, Green, William and Gordon Swanborough. Prelude to Standoff. Air Enthusiast, 34, September a Euro December 1989. Bromley, UK, Fine Scroll. ISSN 0143-5450 pages 43 a Euro 47, 80. Wood, T and Gunston, B. Hitler's Luftwaffe. Salamander, 1977. External links, media related to Mistel Project at Wikimedia Commons, short description with Mistel Photography. Photograph of Mistel Aircraft from Spiegel Online, Mistel Composite Aircraft at Luftwaffe Resource Center.